Um, let me ask you something. Where could they get What's that mixtape at? Um, contraband. Um, that's my latest mixtape. It's already certified gold. Okay. On that piff.com, y'all go there, free download, and um. Okay. I wanted to ask you something. Um, you know, last year there's a lot of niggas coming out, um, hating and shit, saying you got robbed, you got this, that, yeah. and third. How do you stay out of them street politics? I mean, things, things happen. Things that get done. Things, things, things just happen, man. This is it's unfortunate. I mean, <clears throat> you just gotta move right. You just yeah. sometimes you, you forget for one second. You, you show niggas too much love sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And then it's not even that. It's um, like it's just a long story, man. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. would lay, you try yeah. to do what they want you to do, and you gotta forget. You gotta. It's just crazy, but I, I, I mean, I think fuck I, it. I, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that because. When I think about you, every time that I met you, yeah, like yo, who would fuck with Fred? Like you, in a negative way, like yo, why would that? You know, I know some other niggas that if they got bust over the head and robbed, I probably like yeah, I understand why niggas yeah fucked him up. He got bad energy, but I'm just saying like, does that make you want to turn that aggression on sometimes and be like? I mean, like the shit happened. We all from the streets, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like the, the the way that happened, and it's like I'm not. I, it could have been prevented, you know what I'm saying? I just listened to certain people and um, it just fucked up at that moment, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, oh, fuck, man, I'm here, man. You know, we buy buy more things, more anything, we get money, it's not, it's not a problem. Um, album? Premature for me to give y'all a day for an album. I'm just gonna keep feeding y'all mixtapes, throwing out those singles until everything gets real, like an explosion, and then the album. I hate failure, I can't. I so can't let fail. me ask you something. Um, if you do a mixtape yeah. with all original music, yeah, is that not an album? It's, uh, I mean, you could say that, but it's just the way the times is now. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. back back when the mixtape thing was popping, everything was freestyles and everything, and that was considered a mixtape. But now, it's like we giving you like pre-albums. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, what's the last verse you heard? Besides yours or anybody in your crew that you was like, that shit was dope. I like that. Drake's 5 a.m. I don't think I heard well, I thought that was dope. Yeah. Like, like, cause what's your feedback on the industry? Um, there's people that there's rappers out there that the producer carries them, mm -hmm. and I mean they make their money and the people fuck with them, and then you got. A handful of rappers that get crazy, mm -hmm. you know, like, and it's just to each his own, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I just got my own preference, and some of those music, some of that, some of that music I fuck with, some of it I like. I'm in a club, they throwing a, you know, Soldier Boy joint, they drop. I mean, I fuck with it. You know what have, I'm saying? Have you ever been put in a situation where somebody might have wanted to do a record with you and it was like, nah? Nah, I try to show everybody love. If you asking the do a record with me, like you fuck with me, you fuck with my talent. So I try to like ninety nine percent try to give you that love back and try to do. If it's somebody, what if it's somebody on the come up that yeah would benefit more from yeah. you than you would benefit from it? You'll still do it. Yeah, it's like it's, it's always For like price though, right? Like yeah. keep it a buck. All right, yeah. so we gotta keep it a buck. Like nigga wants some bread. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, if I know you, or whatever, I, I, I'll probably still do it. So producers. <clears> um, who got that sound right now that you need to make that hit record? Uh, it's, it's different, man. It's so hard to say that. I mean, Swiss is always popping. Swiss is always popping to me. Um, always fuck with Just Blaze. Um, Kanye got that fire, Dre. Um, Have you done a record with Just Blaze? No, not yet. Is it in the works? We talk. All right, that. Just Blaze. The <laughs> kid needs some beats. Straight up. Yeah. As an artist, if Just Blaze send you a beat that you don't like, do you say, I don't like it, or do you just rap to it because he sent it to you? And he just sent me one? Yeah, he might have sent you like, yo, I thought th I think this is crazy. Do you find the lane to do it, or do you say, Just, I couldn't really, I couldn't hit, I couldn't get it? If he gave me that, I think I would try to find a lane to do it only because he probably hears something I don't hear. Okay. 
So I wouldn't think he would give me one trash beat. Yeah. He thinks this beat is dope, so maybe I gotta find, like my ear could be wrong and your ear could be right, so yeah. I'll just probably try to find a lane and try to make the best of it. When you listen to music, do you find yourself listening to more boom bap? Do you listen to more trap music? What do you listen to? I mean, the new, the new niggas that's popping, the trap music is is out. The boom bap is trying to come back a little bit right okay. now, but um, the trap music and the, the new that's what's that's what's rocking. You know, the meat. He, he's he's carrying the chief keeps and um. These are the new niggas that's rocking, man. Salute to them. You know, shout out to me and my, my boy French. He's doing his thing, and um, you know, I found myself a lot. I listen to that everything that's new, but still, I got the iPod with the classics. You in that '90s with the Biggie yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the Nas, the Jays. Yeah. I still got that, and I still rock with that. The Bronx. Um, what part of the X you from? South Bronx, one five six five. The Bronx has a rich history with hip hop. Yeah. Um, Arguably the birthplace of hip hop. Um, what do you want your legacy to be when you step away? From <clears throat> and you say, "All right, I'm not rapping no more. I own this. I got this. I got that. I quit." What do you want your legacy? To be? That boy used to go off. Yes, birthplace of hip hop. The birth certificate. And um, you from the Bronx back when they like when they when they look at the Bronx. I used to argue with Clark. Used to be like, yo, you too nice. You should, you gotta be a Brooklyn nigga. You ain't from the Bronx, nigga. You was born in Brooklyn somewhere. They lied to you. I'm like, nigga, that's how y'all look at us, man. I said, nigga, like I'm from the X. And the last person they really gave us props as far as lyrical. Shout out to my, to my big bro, Fat Joe. Shout out to um, Corey. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to everybody that repped the X. Yeah. But the last time they really gave us that stamp where a nigga was going off was punk. Big punk. You know, and that's the last that... That I we mean, said was a crazy yeah. top five nigga. Yeah. And that was yeah. the only top five nigga they said. Yeah. That was ever. You know, fuck the last. That was the only <clears throat> nigga. Nah. I, I, I say Karis one. That like, yeah, early I mean, nigga. Yeah. Woo. Like that early. I yeah, mean. Yeah. You talking about in the, in, the, yeah. in the 90s and that era. Yeah. 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 You know, that was the only nigga. But, but back when KRS was doing it, it was like it was only like probably two niggas that was nice. Yeah, like, I, on his level. See, I, I don't um the, the the younger fans, do you try to let them know what was going on in the Bronx before you? Like do 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 you think it's important for them to know what was going on before you? I think it's important, but to be honest with you, them niggas don't care. Cause I'm talking about you know you could think of like Lord Finesse, you could think of fucking, yeah. Shout out to Finesse, shout out to all. Yeah, them. you could think of. Uh, uh, I mean, it's it's big for me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me being a little kid, my father listening to them, and you you know I was a fan of music since like seven eight years old listening to rap. So I remember, you know what I'm saying? So even when, um, when I was doing my thing, I was on the KRS one album. You reached out and said I need Frederick Carson. Wow, that was big for me. You know what I'm saying? So how do you go in there and be like, like do you go in there and be like shake a little bit? Like, yo, this is fucking Nah, thank God the nigga wasn't there, bro. Oh, all right, yeah, cause you like, you know, cause I <laughs> remember the first LA. time I met Big Daddy Kane, he was doing um media man. He still had the blonde hair and I was like, <laughs> Yo, that's Kane, you know what I'm saying? Like the the, the you know, um one thing before we go, um why don't we see a lot of visuals from you? Uh I put out I put out visuals, but it's like they just we, we try to make it we just try to make it right. Sometimes like it was a time where I was throwing them out once a week, and then I get swamped with work. Yeah. And then it's like when I look, I'm like, damn, I ain't put out nothing on the, on the, on the net in like three weeks. Then we gotta get it right. It's just it's so much going on, man. So it's um, not purposely done. Yeah, because I'm like um you know it, it seemed like the 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 new mantra is the flood the market with mad Absolutely. blogs and Fred the Godson going to buy sneakers and shit like that like yeah. you know alright so um anything you want to say to the people before we bounce you know you could um, shout out you know put put your people oh, out there um, Fred the Godson Contraband um, that's what's rocking right now y'all can go download that free on that piff I got my squad in the building I got yeah yeah got my nigga Bam Vito yeah yeah yeah, yeah Bam yeah, in the right building how many how many of is in the group actually it's um, it's just a little um, it's a couple missing. It's Bam Vito, 
It's my R and B nigga Riley. She's crazy. Okay. My nigga Friday October over there. He on Instagram fucking around. <coughs> and, um, it's the beast. L A R dot dime is crazy. And who the nicest nigga? Everybody got different <laughs> styles. She's crazy. Cause you know how niggas be like. <laughs> Nah, it ain't none of us nice. It's it's one nigga. All right, let's put it like this. Who kicked that verse that make niggas say? Let's put it like this. Nah, How much I'm time you got? Shit, I'm going back. See, let's we put got, it like this. Throw a beat on. All right, throw a beat on. Let's do that. Which one? Well, we ain't gonna do the open letter because he he already touched that. So I can throw whatever. Throw the open letter on. <laughs> <laughs> throw whatever. Let's throw the open letter. Forbes DVD live. Forbes DVD live. Throw the open letter on. Forbes DVD live every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on DTFRadio.com. You want to go and you can't log on to DTFRadio.com? Just go to your mobile store and download the free TuneIn app. When you download that app, just search for DTF Radio, and you can listen to the show like that. Why you want to go? You don't even have to be in front of a computer.